Oh, hello everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day, and welcome to SNS 000 Chapter 00. It's, a, I, it's really hard for me to really start this video and actually explain what this is, or even what it means to me. Um, very strange, bizarre series. I'll show like the store page, hang on, because I'm, I'm playing in desktop mode. It started off with SNS 000, then SNS... 000 chapter 0. I, I feel like I'm the only one who's basically played the game, this one three years ago. I recommend, uh, I'll have in the card above, both SNS 000 and the second game. I wasn't expecting they'd have made anything else, because SNS 000 happened three years ago, and this one happened also basically three years ago, and then after that, nothing. And then all of a sudden, SNS chapter 00. So it's like something I'm personally excited about because it's like one of those things where it feels like no matter what I do or what I play or how far I get or how much I search, I feel like I'm missing something. And either I'm either it's either I'm overanalyzing the depth or bizarre nature of SNS 000 because we haven't had like a YouTuber that does, you know, thorough game breaking, game digging kind of stuff on this game. But I feel like I'm missing things. I could be completely wrong, because it's just... It's anecdote. Um, but I feel like I'm missing a whole bunch of things. But this one... It just begins, and it's just enter password. So... We're already starting off on a strange... A strange thing. But I'm gonna think it's this. Repeatedly pressing zero can get you out of an impossible situation. You have a limited amount of ammo that is necessary to progress in certain situations, or you have to restart. Or find a glitch somewhere. This is a prototype, and, uh, yeah. So let's try 000. Start. Warning, this is a prototype. I don't think so, but we'll see. Ah, oh, yeah. Pick a sign. Pick a sign. They both look the same. <laughs> well, what happened? They both look the same. Did I get it wrong or right? Should I hit... Oh, wow. It closed the game! It closed the game right after. You're kidding me. Oh, okay. Let's try that again. Uh, how about a hitting start? Wait, the zeros did nothing? It just started anyways? This is a pro to 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 Pick the side. What if I hit like spam zero 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 zero? What if I hit zero 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 constantly? Will that help me? Or is that just a saying? What? What does this mean? I'm already starting off on a weird foot. And why, like, I'm so curious about this. What does this mean? Wait, what? What? Why is it weird? Alright, then I'll start again. Is it just, even to start the game, it's a 50-50 chance to even get in? Prototype, prototype. What is it? <laughs> what the fuck? Um, let me see if there's space for handbrake. I haven't even gotten to the game. Enter to skip or intro. Wait, enter to skip the intro. Choose. Skip intro. Switch item one and two, go back, get out. It's definitely going to be driving, but I haven't even gotten through the fucking beginning. Hmm. Alright, well. Wait, what if I just don't pick then? If I just twirl your hand, huh? Oh, just doing nothing? Are you kidding me? Wait, what? It closed. 
Is it like just closing maybe an error? Nope. I hit the escape button instead and he dropped the coin. Who would have goddamn expected that? Okay, can I actually play the game now? A lizard. I, to begin the game, you have to hit the escape key. You're kidding me. The game only begins if you hit the escape key. What is this? Like, what is this? Changed secret best ending? Ten minutes of thinking, and I finally get in. Oh, God. Oh, my... We're in the... Are we in the gas station? You have returned. You have returned. It means you are still looking for answers. No! No! Oh, was that a crash? Like a legit crash or just the game? That's the only thing that's always weird about this game. You don't know what's intentional and what isn't. I don't recall the other games being buggy. And usually you'd do something like... You'd play a game like this and think, ah, it looks amateurish. You know, why... Like, it, you think it's amateurish, but at the same time, it's definitely not. That's the always thing that was always puzzling. Because I've played games that are just crappily made. I've played tons of bad games. I've played tons of... Ah, I can just hit enter key to skip that. Oh, the dog. No! Damn it. Like, looking in the direction of the monster gets it killed? In the first game, the wolf was very strange. Because it's like, staring at him would get you killed. Or was it looking away? It was like, looking away... And finding out that the dog could speak was just like one of the secrets in the first game. And then turning your back to it or not looking at it made it not aggressive. It was always weird like that. Okay. But, uh... Basically, we have to try to get through the game, then. And discover through trial and error... Like, it, uh, You have to discover what causes the crash. Or, like, looking at that dude could be causing it. Like, what? Let's see. We did try to do trial and error. What can we do to prevent... Prevent the crash? Presume that crash means death or something. I think... I can't move anymore. Damn. It's hard to tell, also, if, the, if it legit is a prototype because the game is buggy this time around or not. I really want to get into it, though. It actually legit crashed this time? Blender's not working, how unfortunate. This is gonna be a weird goddamn video to, uh... This is gonna be a weird video to, uh, to edit. Now, I'm gonna avoid looking in that one direction. Get to look this way only. Why the low fr- No, the game legit does just keep crash. It keeps crashing. I'd have to honestly ask whether or not it is intentional. Because it's hard to- It says warning, this is a prototype. Either they're being honest, and that it is a prototype, or that's just meta story writing. I genuinely don't know. If I shoot you, then. Nope, I killed him. This guy that's been constantly in pain. Okay. Can I run towards it? Oh, God. 
So far, no crash. Maybe we're meant to shoot him. Like, the dude d was capable of causing crashes in the original game. But what? Just go to the peak and stab the eye. Figure out what that means. Does that mean I have to, like, race the creature to the point? Like, consider it almost like an SCP in a way. I don't know. Everything I say either makes sense or makes no sense because I have no idea what I'm talking about. But the, the game doesn't really tell you anything. Everything is a riddle. Which is why at least it really intrigues me. But, um... Anyways, I'll keep running towards this thing then. I have to find out if where it's going is... Precisely where the game wants me to also go. Alright, while well, walking on the pipe, I've been able to actually push through even though it feels like there's movement resistance. Like a lot of resistance. Oh, jeez. Now! Oh, can't get forced back down. It's... Wait. Oh, come on! Whoa! What? It, it showed me something different. And then closed. God. What does that mean? God damn it. All that running. I got to, the, like, the very beginning of the tunnel. Oh, that took a lot of running. Well, let's just see if everything I do then still continues to make sense. Like, Get the shotgun immediately. Kill the shopkeeper immediately. Because if I don't, he'll be the cause of the crash. Maybe. Ugh, the game is just still... A... It turns your brain to mush having to think of every weird variable. It's it's strange. Like, hit enter. Thank you for the shotgun. He's dead. I have to affirm... That killing him does, in fact... Wolf. Alright, I'll follow the wolf right at the start. Oh, no. No! Don't crash now! God damn it. Well, zero. I think this is one of those legitimate crashes. God damn it. Well, I'll keep doing it until I find a new revelation. If not, then it's just going to be me thinking to myself, talking to myself, and uh, trying so many things out. The crashes like that that happen, I think it's just from overloading. Wait, climb. What? Climb. Wait. A mouse cursor, stop going berserk. I can't see what I'm doing, but the game hasn't crashed yet. Uh I'm I'm climbing. Uh, I guess. Oh. Uh, wait. Mouse cursor, what are you doing? Wait. Uh, wait. Wait. Um, think I'm going up. Maybe. Ah. Ah, there you are. Eyeball. I don't, have any, I don't have any shotguns for this. No. Okay, well... I got on top, too. Shit. Ah, uh, man. I, I would need a shotgun blast for this for sure, but I use, like, the shotgun blast to launch myself up. 
amazed that actually the game hasn't crashed. Like, it's laggy, but it's like... And every time it does that, it messes with your movement. God damn it. Well, I'll have to restart and try to climb it legitimately. The wolf tells me to climb up from the red zone on its arm. And the game didn't crash. Or legit crash by overload. Well, we figured out that we need to get on top of the thing. The wolf told me to climb. But I had to make sure I don't use all my ammo. I need to have all my ammo. Maybe not even shoot the shopkeep. And hopefully get some progress by shooting that thing in the eye before the game crashes. Because I don't even know what, what crash is legit or what crash is, you know, at, like, deliberate crashes versus unintentional crashes. I don't know what is and what isn't. Alright, made it to the eyeball. Holy crap, that took forever. Password infinite! Holy crap! Okay, we got by the first part. Infinite! Okay. Holy crap. How about zeros? That was so laggy, and that took so many tries. I've been, pl I've been recording for an hour. I don't know how much I've been editing out. Escape. Enter. We just got the password to the next part. Fine. Wait. Oh, we got a checkpoint then. Okay, I didn't close the game and it continued. And it's not as laggy! Holy crap! Not as laggy. Oh my, it's smooth now. Oh my god, why is the first half... What? Why is the first half so laggy and then this is fine? I mean, moving objects, physics, and dust particles, uh, yeah, but... Infinite. We fight... Oh, the particle effects. Oh. I don't know if I should shoot that or not. Anything that uses particle effects... Uh... Okay, we can swim in this. Weird. Well, this has to fill up until we get up here, then. This game is still weird, man. Okay. I my, my unit's intestine or something? I'm not even going to be trying to be thorough in this game. Like, who knows if there's going to be, like, an invisible wall somewhere randomly around here. I don't know how many shotgun shells I have. Or if I need... If there's shortcuts, if there's secret areas that are just something I can barely see. A cube? What? I touched the cube and now it's gone. I'll presume this is a ladder. It is. So we blasted the eye after, like, an hour of... Oh no, don't tell me it's going to be platforming now. It's not the best conditions for platforming, but I guess we'll have to... Nah, yep, yep. Make it work. Uh, without slip and sliding, please. We have to get... Up here... This is weird, man. Okay. Jump, jump, jump. Hmm. Okay. It. And this lag, man, this is, uh... uh. Nope. Nope. Ah, fuck. Ah. Oh. It's like, when you're trying to play and you're trying to do precision, uh, at least... Precision platforming. Let me. Fuck! Oh, let me skip ahead. This might take a while. Alright, I think I made it. Just this last jump. Oh, 
That's disorienting. Alright, we made it. Okay. At least the game's not crashing anymore. Uh, I just had to get over this. Fine enough, just spacebar spam, right? Maybe. No? I might have to actually use a shotgun to blast up then. Unless there's fluid around here. Or... Oh no, don't tell me they... Don't tell me the platforming is actually not over. Oh no. Like, uh... This, uh... I don't think it's actually over. I could use the shotgun, but I think the ammo is saved, in fact. Um, and I'll need it for somewhere even further. Well, and I'll try using a shotgun, whatever. Oh, wait. Oh, I just shot it. Maybe use too much ammo then. I'm not sure if it's like... They say, I need the shotgun for further in here? Wait, this is different. They want me dropping again? What? I'm so confused. Just more platforming. Wait. Can I... Oh, grabbing the teeth and plugging them in. Well, that's interesting. Nope, I guess I'll uh, be doing this for a little bit. Give me a second. Alright, so I'm still going now. Went and stabbed some teeth. Um, I have no idea where I'm going. I just gotta hope I get somewhere else so I can continue playing until I reach a conceivable end, because this is taking a while. At least the game's not crashing again. But, particle effects, yeah, definitely dangerous in this game. Is this what I meant to kill? to shoot this thing. Motherfucker. Hmm. Maybe I didn't have enough in ammo on that. Because as the store page puts, you have a limited amount of ammo that is necessary to progress in certain situations, or you have to restart, or find a glitch. I'm not sure if it's like saying a glitch is humor, or if there's like something in the code, like, hey, if you press a combination, or if you move somewhere, then it'll cause something. Being killed there... Hmm. I'm gonna have to... Let me stop the recording here. 
and see if there's anything it's saying that might might like give me a tip on maybe what I need to do. All right, there has to be something I can do there. It's either I dodge the bullets and stand far away, or it means shooting the hand. There has to be just something I can do, though. Funny thing is, then, I just found out with the barricade, I just pressed the left click and it destroyed it. I'm not even sure if the shotgun, sh like, technically shot a bullet or if it just thinks it shot a bullet and I didn't use it up. Because I still have to figure out whether or not... I just didn't have enough ammo or something to kill the creature. It's either that or I shot the wrong thing or I just did the wrong thing. So I'm going to try again. So there's too many things I want to do, but I'm not going to have a, too much more energy to continue trying and experimenting new things. Because um, it takes a while to get to that thing. And I've been already recording for like an hour and 30 minutes. And a lot of it's just going to remain a mystery, probably. Alright, the question I have, if I jumped down here and went here... There's something up here. This is either I drop and head to where the creature was that killed me, or I find a way to jump up there. There has to be a reason there's something up there for. I'll have to see if I can do wall jumps like I did before in the prior games. Like, unless I need to use the shotgun to boost myself, I wonder if that still works. I'll have to try. Nope. The shotgun doesn't lift me up like it used to. No, nah, and I used all my shotgun rounds. I wonder why I did that to begin with. Mm. Oh, well, I don't have any shotgun rounds now. Wonder... And there's a cube that I pick up. Man, I'm so confused. Well, with no weapon, uh, no ammo, there's only a few more things I can do. But there's that section I can't reach. Q. What does Q mean? Q and zero haven't been used, so... I really doubt me getting hit by that dude in the game, again, crashing, but that one more... more intentional. There has to be a way to avoid it. And I have to figure out what the hell the cube even means. Is the cube that I pick up... Is it ammo? Or is it something else? I haven't seen any other cubes, but who knows if there are more. Yeah, I have to try to dodge that shit. Because this Q it says go back and get out. The enter key I already use. Escape we already use. Pre repeatedly pressing zero can get you out of an impossible situation. That is sort of an impossible situation, and we haven't used zeros, but that just means retrying all over just to try and hope it's the right thing. I'm going to leave it here, though. I did a lot. I'm going to have to basically edit a lot of my rambling and post it and just see if I can get any updates. I don't know if the developer would really reply to my comment I left saying, there's a lot of crashes. After I typed that out, I that was like, in the part one in the desert where it just crashed frequently. After I killed the wolf, whether whether it's like the wolf caused it by constantly colliding against the monster, I'm not sure if like the wolf was responsible for the crashes. I haven't tried it. Um, I thought first killing the store clerk was what's causing the crashes and killing would stop it. And then I killed the wolf and it happened to not crash and that was how I finally got to the top after having killed the wolf. Assuming the wolf running around, pushing around the boulders, and colliding against the giant engine uh, was what was causing the crashes, but I don't think so, because it even crashes during the cutscene after a certain point in time, after, like, almost exact amount of time. Sometimes it crashes, and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. But I'll see if the game updates or not, or if this really is the game, and it's just something more of a riddle that I'm just not getting. 
or having to evade the crashes and persevere anyways. But either way, game is still weird. I'll see if the game updates or if I get a response. Don't know, because I don't think I've ever even gotten a response ever once from the developer of these games, just to probably retain the unknown nature of it all. No idea. But if you enjoyed the bizarre whatever this was, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a full subscriber, and the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Mm -hmm.